What's up guys, I'm Jesse Kazam. Welcome back to the Ultimate Escape from Tarkov Beginner's Guide. In this video, we're gonna be talking about extractions. Uh, if you don't know the mechanics behind how extractions work in Escape from Tarkov, it can be really confusing and frustrating, but once you kind of have it down, uh, it's a lot easier to understand and remember, and you'll be able to make a lot smarter decisions in Raid about how and when to extract. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So we're not gonna go through each extraction for every map uh, in the game right now. That would take way too much time. And I'd rather kind of arm you guys with the knowledge of the mechanics of how extractions work so that as you learn the game, you understand how these mechanics work. And so as in the future, as they add more content and more maps, uh, you have a better foundation for how these mechanics work. So you can figure out the extractions on those maps as well. So basically, uh, how a raid works is you have a specific amount of time to extract from this raid and you have to extract in certain locations for you to get out and keep your loot. Um, the game is going to want to push you to the other side of the map as a general rule of thumb, kind of as a foundation. So where you generally where you spawn the game, the extraction is going to be on the other side of the map. It wants to play you through the map, push you near players and scavs and stuff like that. Uh, if you tap O on your keyboard at the top right, you see the time left in the raid. And that's a countdown that'll disappear in just a few seconds. And that's how much time left you have to extract you can extract at any point during the raid uh, but if you don't extract by the time it hits zero the raid ends and you do not get to keep any of that loot that you worked so hard for so make sure to keep an eye on that it'll come up in red when it's 10 minutes or less and stay there if you double tap o you it shows you your extraction points for the raid so as you can see right off the bat we've got a bunch with some question marks and one without so there's two types of extractions in escape from tarkov kind of generally um a guaranteed extraction or a potential extraction so i'm going to double tap o again the guaranteed extraction is going to be the one without those question marks uh every time i go to that extraction it is going to be there available for me it doesn't matter if pmc's used it before me or not uh, and basically what that looks like uh, so i spawn on the other side of the map basically what that looks like is you just walk up to it and it starts extracting uh they're not really marked you know what i mean it doesn't say extract here or anything and they all kind of look different they're not all this structure um, and you just walk up to it and you'll begin to extract and at the end of that countdown your raid will end the other extractions are the ones with the question marks there and those are potential extractions and these there's a, a few different mechanics to how these work some of them uh, are like this where you just walk up to it and you'll start to extract uh, some of them you'll like consume it so nobody after you that also had that as a potential extraction can extract there um, there might be a potential extraction on your list and you roll up to where it is and it's just not there it's not available to you um, a lot of the potential ones if they're available not all of them but some of them will be marked by this like green smoke this green like extraction smoke uh, and that's a good way to know from a distance if you know where some of these are it's a good way to know from a distance um, if those extractions are available to you uh, some of them like there's a there's a car a few cars on some maps where you actually have to pay money wait a certain amount of time and then the car drives away and you can extract nobody can use that after you and some of them are actually behind locked doors and you need the correct key that extraction needs to be available and you need the correct key um, it's also important to know if you're playing as a player scav uh, player scavs have different extraction points uh, some of them overlap but for the most part scavs have different ones um, so, I mean, that's really it as far as the mechanics. All you really got to do is find where the extraction points are on your map and, and get there. But as you can kind of see, map knowledge is going to be a huge, huge help uh, in, in learning these mechanics and in being confident that you know where you're going and how to extract from a raid. Um, it's also super important to, if you can learn all the extractions and all the potential extractions, especially for PMC, there can be a lot for scav, 
but for pmc learning all the extractions as opposed to just one or two can really help you make smart decisions if you're hurt or if you're here gunshot somewhere or if you have a lot of really good loot so that you can navigate to some of these extractions um, and then the potential extractions are always going to be a risk right you might check your extractions and see you're relatively close to a potential extraction but you're worried hey if it's not there i'm going out of my way and then have to go to the regular extraction uh, but if it is there i can get out way easier and there's a higher chance of getting the loot so it's a fun mechanic in the game and and it helps kind of heighten the risk reward fact uh, factor to the game so what i'm going to do is i'm going to link down below um the site that i use for all my, the game maps uh, all the different maps and crazy detailed breakdowns simple breakdowns uh even still now i pull it up sometimes uh, when I want to know where an extraction is or just something on the map. It's super helpful. Uh, there's other resources too, but I'm going to link that down below. And then before we end it, I want to talk briefly about some of the, the really different extractions in the game. So the Terra Group Labs map is currently the only map that kind of deviates from these mechanics. And in that map, every single extraction requires something to be done first. There's extractions that only allow you to have up to a certain size backpack, like anything bigger and it won't let you through. Uh, some extractions you have to sound an alarm or you need a key or you need to power an elevator or something like that. Um, the devs have talked about how they like these dynamic extractions and want to move to something like that more with some of the new maps they've talked about that with the military base which is the next map coming as well they've even talked about the streets of tarkov map having the terror group labs map inside of the streets of tarkov map so they do kind of want to mess with the the mechanics a little bit with dynamic stuff sending up flares or even potentially the ability to extract just your loot and remain in in a raid but at the end of the day the basic mechanic is you've got a time limit to get out of the raid and map knowledge is going to be the absolute biggest thing that helps equip you to know where you need to go and how to get out of that raid um, i'll obviously update this kind of stuff um, in the future as more maps drop and stuff like that and like i said i'm going to drop the link below to where uh the site that i use to reference all the maps and then i'll also link the wiki down below because that's going to have a lot of information about every single extraction and those terror group lags extractions and stuff like that so i hope this helps i hope that this laid a foundation for how the mechanics of extracting work in escape from tarkov and i hope that the resources that i'm going to provide also help you learn the game learn the maps learn the extractions so that once again when you're in a raid it's one less thing to worry about and you can be really confident on how to get out of those raids Thanks again for checking out this video, guys. Uh, drop a like if you like the video. Think about subscribing for more content like this. And drop a comment down below if these videos have been helpful and if there's something else that you'd like to see me make a video on soon. I stream Escape from Tarkov about four days a week, and there's links down below to the Twitch, Twitter, Discord, all that kind of stuff. My goal is always going to be to make short, high-quality Escape from Tarkov beginner's guides that help shorten the learning curve and get you and your raids having fun as soon as possible. Thanks again for checking this video out, guys. I'll see you on the next one.